so... Are, are you fucking kidding me? Did I just hear a UFC mixed martial arts champion turn into a fucking bitch? Tyron Woodley, I respect his skill. What you did with your fight was perfect. Hey, dude, you pulled it off. You didn't throw a lot of punches, whatever. You didn't look super... You didn't look like a fucking monster the way Dana White wanted you to look like. You did what you thought was right. But, dude, do you think coming back by saying I'm going to fucking rap people out because I don't get a public apology, you make yourself look like a bigger bitch. Are you fucking kidding me? I want a public apology. Oh, I'm going to fucking tell everybody everything I fucking know. Come on, dude. You just made shit fucking worse for you. I'm going to fucking rat everybody out. I'm going to leak shit out because I want a public apology. I feel like I was fucking ridden. I feel like they made fun of me. <laughs> dude. Dude. Brother, I was one of your fans, brother. I don't know about me being a fucking fan of a fucking rat. Fuck that shit, man. Rant and fucking... Bro, who gives a fuck what people think about you? Why don't you learn from Conor McGregor? A real fucking champion. You don't give a fuck what people think about him. Why would you care? So they didn't like your fight. You won. You got paid. You're still the champion. At the end of the day, they can bitch all they fucking want. Promote your fighters. Don't deep them. Dude, you know, come on, bro, man. Stop being a fucking bitch about it, homeboy. Dude, go home. Cash a check. Take your woman out. Have a great dinner. Enjoy your fucking belt. Wait for the next motherfucker to step up. So Michael Bisping, they gave him George, George, uh, George St. Pierre's Michael Bisping. You didn't get him. You should be bitching about that because Dana White did say live that you would get him. Don't worry, buddy. He's yours. Now it's Michael Bisping. Three. Bitch about that, homeboy. Don't bitch about them bitching about your fight. Anyway, end of that fucking subject. If I was you, I'd change your fucking whole fucking thing. Tyron, dude, come on, brother. You know better than that shit. You're going to fucking bitch somebody out. I'm going to tattletale because I, I feel like I've been disrespected, so I'm going to tattletale. Man, I'm shit. <sighs> That's some stupid shit, boy. Swear to God, man. Can't stand shit like that. Jones, Lesnar. Uh, I, I, that would be a good fight. I, I would say it'd be a good fight. Let me try my fucking battery. But by the time Brock Lesnar gets into fucking shape, homeboy, I'm not gonna bother with that. Yeah, it may be a money fight. But, um, honestly speaking, I wouldn't want to see that shit. I wouldn't want to see that shit. Because to me, that's just another fucking, that's a gimmick, son. That's not a fight I want to see. It may look good, but I don't, I don't want to see it. That doesn't catch my interest, so. Jones, you know what, brother? Just let, why don't you just cash your little checks first? And then wait for that big fight. Wait for somebody to step up. You know. Knock everybody out, man. You've been off for a while. Why don't you get paid first? Take some easy fights, homeboy. Catch a check. You know. Do that shit. Start some shit. Once again, what you learn from Conor McGregor? <laughs> don't call nobody out, man. Whatever they bring you, just fight them. That's it. Just fight them. Don't worry about it. Whoever they bring you, just fight them, brother. Let them light. Let Dana White light them up and you knock them down and just get paid while you're doing it, homeboy. Trying to get a big money fight too goddamn quick. Too quick. Too quick. So. Ah, uh, fuck Brock. Fuck Brock. Can't stand him in the WWE. They couldn't stand him in the UFC. So. Next, 
That's what you should be saying. Next. You want to talk about wrestlers? Be what, what Goldberg did. Next. Who's next? Ah. Oh, do that shit, homeboy. Twenty-five days left, man. August twenty-six. Conor McGregor's gonna shock the motherfucking world. It's going to shock the world, man. Shock the world. You know, one of the game plans I was thinking, um, which honestly, I don't, I don't know, man. I think Conor McGregor, he got into Floyd Mayweather's head so bad. That I think he should. Do. I honestly feel that during the fight he should do that. Play with his ass, man. Put your hands behind your back like that picture. Tap him one hand and go back and make fun of him. See if you can frustrate him because you're both kind of fighters. I mean, when you look at this fight, if you look at it in 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 perspective, and you look at both styles, both use the same thing. You're both kind of fighters. So what, what two kind of fights you gonna do? Wait until somebody draws a punch. Floyd's gonna try to Floyd's gonna try to draw you in. So if Conor needs to flip that script and draw Floyd in by frustrating him and embarrassing him and punking him out in his own game. So Conor, my advice to you, my friend, punk that motherfucker out, draw him. Piss that son of a bitch off, and when he reaches to hit you, knock that motherfucker silly and dribble his motherfucking head. Because honestly, man, I want to wake up August 27th saying, I fucking told you so. And besides that, kind of man, the odds are really good with you, brother. So if I win, man, I'm almost tripping my money, baby. I'm fucking losing money by betting on Mayweather. So, man, look. Conor McGregor is going to shock the fucking world. End the fucking story. He's going to shock the fucking world, man. He's going to shock the world. Either way, either, no matter what happens in that fight, Conor McGregor changed the world. Changed combat sports forever. No matter what happens in that fight. But if he knocks him out, ooh, baby. UFC better start. UFC, Dana, I'm going to give you some advice. If Conor McGregor wins that fight, you better find a lot of money for that fucking other... Because from what I'm understanding, Conor wants to fight Mayweather. And before the end of the year, he wants to defend his title. He wants to get paid. By the end of the year, Conor McGregor is going to scrape in at least $200, $200 million, man. That boy is set, son. He's set. Smart son of a bitch at the age of fucking 28. 28. So... On August 26th, I'm going to buy a six-pack of Guinness Stout. <laughs> Drink some dark beer, baby. Guinness Stout, that shit. Some Irish whiskey, cabbage. Man, I'm going to dress in green. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, Conor McGregor's going to shock the world. Mark my fucking words. If my name ain't Frankie Flo, son. Conor McGregor's gonna shock the world. I fucking know it. I know it. The fight, the way you see this fight, Conor's up to something. He's too damn smart. Conor's too damn smart, man. He already knows that Floyd ain't gonna attack him. Floyd's gonna sit back and wait and wait and wait. He, he did it to all the other fighters. He frustrates them. That's why he trash talks them all the way to the fight. So by the time they get to the fight, all they wanna do is knock their head off. All they want to do is kill him. So who yapping, yapping, yapping? He met his match, man. What he did to him in Toronto, what Conor did to uh, Floyd in Toronto, bitched him out, man. Bitched him out. Boy, you dance for me. They sing, you dance. Can't even read. Smacked him on the top of the head, man. Good boy, good lad. Sit still. Get my coffee. Two sugars. Holy shit. Man, he just made fucking Floyd Mayweather his bitch. So, and speaking of bitches, Nate Diaz, you're a fucking bitch. If you're going to fucking walk down, I fucking became his bitch, man. You should have called him out. I'm going to finish the job that Nate couldn't do. Motherfucker, I'll knock you out. 
I hit harder than you. Telling me I couldn't finish the job. What are you trying to say? That you're better than me? Fuck you. So. I hope he's paying you, Nate. Because if you're walking down that aisle holding his hand like a little bitch, you're going to be holding his belt too? Hold his belt? So. Anyway. Tyrone, man, you don't threaten people by bitching, by saying you're going to be a rat. Mr. Jones, don't worry about Brock. He ain't worth it right now. Line him up. Knock him down. Let Dana White line him up. You can knock him down. Conor McGregor is still, in my eyes, going to be the man. God bless. Conor. 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 Stay cool, my brother. Stay cool. And uh, do me a favor. Subscribe to my channel. Just press subscribe. See if I can get something going here. Let's see if a regular human. Let's see if a regular person. A regular person. Can start a nice little nice little run. So. And if anybody's into wrestling. On September 2nd. Legendary Action Wrestling. I will be in New York City. Taino Towers. 240 East. 123rd Street. 5 p.m. bell time. If you're in the area, you feel like watching some wrestling, come down, man. Take a picture, shake my hand, and, and uh, peace.